Well, hi all my LGBT friends, Christians, and others. Um, this is going to be uh, probably a little bit short video, but it, it's very serious um, topic. And what I want to share with you is that if you are a believer in uh, the Lord God Almighty and in Jesus, and He's in your heart, then you have you are a part of God and he will protect you and will keep you from harm um, and especially you know when you call upon him and what I wanted to talk to you about is that if you believe all of the Bible then you also believe that there is evil and you also know especially from the Old Testament um, that there is a invisible war going on in realms that we cannot see because it's out of our preview um, and um, angels are, are battling uh, demonic angels and um, there is in scripture uh, the uh, story of an angel going to be coming to Ezekiel to give him a message, but he can't get through the portal, if you will, um, gate. Uh, he can't get into where he needs to go, so he has to call upon uh, the archangel Michael to help him. And whether Michael did it by himself, which I'm sure he could have done it by himself, um, or whether he had other angels, we don't know but was able to fight off the um, angel of Persia, which I believe is also the Antichrist, um, or Satan, if you will, Satan, okay? Because of what our Bible tells us that he shall come from um, that, that area, okay? Um, Persia. So, um, And since you believe in all of the Bible and you don't cherry pick, then you need to learn how to protect yourself when you see or encounter evil. And you know evil when you see it because you become uh, afraid. You're, you know, you have physical symptoms that happens to you and you know something is not right. So the first thing that you need to do is to rebuke it and send it away from you because you have dominion over it you have dominion over uh the uh the earth and anything that creeps upon it or anything that you know uh you have uh control over uh this the uh fishes in the ocean and because god gave it to you and so because you have god in you, you you have the power of Jesus in you. Greater is he that lives in me than he that lives in the world. So, um, rebuke it. And to, and to do that, you need to look at your Bible and find rebuking verses in the Bible. You can look into um, the Psalms, Psalms 91, 1 through 6. You can look into Timothy. The book of Timothy um, I'm trying to remember the verse I just lost it in my head uh, I would suggest go to the back of your Bible into into the uh, you know uh, uh, if you have a concordance in your Bible great if not you can also go to the Bible hub you can go to um, different um, oh gosh you can even go to Google and just Google rebuking verses and how to protect yourself against entities that do not belong in your realm okay um, or you know uh, or persons that may have evil in them who may uh, even attack you uh, spiritually or physically and you need and if you're being um, attacked you need to, uh, if that's not working for you and it's serious, then you need to get a pastor and deacons uh, to pray with you and to purify 
your home and your dwelling and uh, and your person and uh, this this may take uh, uh, this may be a one-time thing or may just take a few times um, and the evil has has to obey and has to leave and flee the area okay uh, because God's word is mightier than anything you know mightier than the sword mightier than any evil uh, God you know God is greater all right so um, because I know that we are living in the end times and the pulse of it is that you know it's getting worse um, as as, uh, as the days go along um, and you will be seeing more of, of the opposite agenda happening in the world you need to know that this is very real and uh, but that you can overcome it and I want you to, to know that there is power in the name of Jesus okay there really truly is power in his name as the song goes and to call upon his name because you come in his name to the Father whenever you come to somebody uh, that that doesn't know who you are because you yourself don't have the power it is God that has the power that's in you so you have to say in the name of Jesus I rebuke you okay and so anyway I would um, highly suggest that you look up those verses for yourself and pray to the Lord to show you um, and if you're feeling you know that there is evil or you're you know something is not quite right when the lights are turned off um, you just not feeling comfortable then you know I would suggest that you pray in the Lord's name and to um, get rid of that you know uh, uneasy feeling and and evil from your dwelling oftentimes ministers will walk around their premises uh, the church you know grounds and pray and and you can walk around your house and pray you can walk around your um, uh, your uh, your neighborhood and pray out loud to keep evil away from your area and um, I say this because I truly believe that we are fighting against principalities and entities that we cannot uh, see with our own eyes but they are there and especially if you are a person of God and you're making yourself known you will be um, attacked you will be uh, confronted and so you need to know how to arm yourself with God's armor um, and I've talked about um, other vi uh, other videos about uh, God's armor you know the, the the head of salvation the breastplate of righteousness the sword of truth and so forth and um, and you can look look that up for yourself so I wish you a, a, a blessed day thank you for watching my channel and please subscribe um, I don't uh, have uh, any monetary value attached to this YouTube um, I'm only doing it because this is what I know the Lord would want me to do okay so love you guys take care bye bye